Hi, my name is Chad Minkner, and this is the Voss Honda Technology video. This week we're going to be covering the tire pressure monitoring system. Now the tire pressure monitoring system is on all new Hondas, and some previous models as well. Now, if you have any questions on this feature, you can email or call me at the contact information listed below this video window. With that, let's get started. Now, I recently had a customer call me about a question on her tire pressure. She said she had a light coming up on her dashboard and she didn't understand what the light was for. Now, the light that she described to me was for the tire pressure system. Now, what the tire pressure monitoring system does is it monitors the air pressure in your tires. If the air pressure gets below a certain threshold, in most cases, losing two to three pounds, this tire pressure light will come on. Okay? Now, currently I'm in a 2013 Honda CRV. Now, this one has 30 pounds of pressure per square inch in each tire. Now, I've deflated one of these tires just slightly so we can take a look and see what this light looks like. So, let me start up this CRV and give you a chance to look at this light up close. Now, the different ways that you're going to see this tire pressure light, and that's going to be this light right here. Uh, there's two ways, actually. Uh, the first way is if you're driving down the highway, driving down the road, and you get a nail or something in your tire and the tire starts to lose pressure. What will happen is this light will come on again once the tire starts to lose about two or three pounds. Now, the second way that we can see this light is in the morning. Now, this will usually happen due to the weather. For example, if we have a drop in temperature of about 20 to 30 degrees, the rule of thumb is for every 10 pounds, for every 10 degrees of pressure outside lost, you're going to lose about one to two pounds of pressure per square inch. So, if we drop 20 degrees in the middle of the night, uh, in the morning when you get up, there's a good chance you've lost two to three pounds of pressure in one or all of your tires. And then this light will come on. Now, there's also two ways to get rid of this light. The first way to get rid of this light is going to be to check the tire pressure, adjust it properly to where it should be, and then go ahead and start the car and drive. Once the car reaches 18 miles an hour, uh, the system will automatically recheck and recalibrate itself, and if the pressures are right, the light will go off. Now, the second way to do this and this will work more in cold weather more so than anything else is to drive the car. Of course make sure to look at all your tires and make sure that none of them look low. Uh, once you check this and the tire pressure light is on you're going to want to go ahead and drive the car. Now this is going to take a little bit longer uh, than say five or ten minutes. It might take 15, 20, maybe even 30 minutes. But once the tire gets warmed back up that air uh, should uh, expand once again and uh, the tire pressure should be right. When that happens this light will also go off. So there's two ways the light can go off. Now the other thing to, to go with this is going to be your tire pressures. Now the easiest way to find the tire pressures are on the driver's side uh, here on the door jam. And let me get out here real quick and show you what this looks like. The tire pressures are going to be located on the driver's side door it's going to be on this sticker right here. And I'll zoom in here and let you see, but it's going to be right here on these two. Uh, and as you can see, it actually says 30 pounds of pressure front and rear for these tires. And it also will show you your tire size here as well. So that is a quick uh, instruction on what that tire pressure light looks like and how to take care of it. And that's it. For more information on this feature, you can visit automobiles.honda.com on the web, consult your owner's manual, or you can call or email me at the contact information listed below this video window. If you have a Honda technology feature you would like to see demonstrated or instructed, you can post your idea on our Facebook page or email or call me. Previous Voss Honda technology videos can be viewed on our YouTube channel, which is Voss Honda Tip City. OH. Again, my name is Chad Minkner, and this is a Voss Honda technology video.